Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial we will learn to install and configure Cucumber.js in Visual Studio Code. So let's begin. Cucumber supports the main programming languages and for that let me show you that on the browser. Go to the browser here and in the browser you need to type cucumber.io. This is the official website here and once you land on this one you need to click on view docs. It will take us to the installation page here. And here you will see that Cucumber is available for most mainstream programming languages. And here they have segregated the, their support uh, with respect to official support, semi-official support, unofficial and unmaintained. And if we talk about the official one is with Java, with JavaScript, Ruby and so on. And in this particular series, we would be covering Cucumber.js. So click on this one here and when we talk about uh, the cucumber js means if we are automating some web application if we are automating some apis or maybe the mobile apps and if we are using the javascript and you need to build up your framework with the cucumber then you have to use the cucumber.js so there are different tools just like cypress cypress is using the javascript protector was using the javascript similarly playwright so there are different tools uh, where you would be using the JavaScript. And if you want to develop a framework with the BD and Cucumber, then you need to use the Cucumber.js. So in this series, we would be learning all about the Cucumber.js and how things are working in Cucumber.js. And so here is a very simple solution. So if you have a node.js, you, you simply use this command or if you have a yawn, so you can use this command. So when you have to work with the cucumber.js, you must have node.js. So if you don't have a node, simply what you need to do is that go to node.js and this is a node website. Go to the download section here and you can download and install the node according to your platform and operating system. Okay. And similarly, once you have downloaded, you need to configure the build path and after configuring the build path and environment variables just go to the command prompt here and type node dash v it will show the node version and similarly npm dash v so it will show the npm version and if these are prompted here or displayed here properly this means that node is configured properly on your system so this is the prereq and this, the second prereq is that you need a visual studio code if you don't have it just go and search for vs code download and go to this link here and here again you can download and install based on your operating system so if you are using windows so you can choose from these options if you're linux use these options and if you're using mac go with these options and follow the step-by-step -step instructions and you will be able to install it on your machine so these are the prereqs now uh, let me go to visual studio code here which is already open here and this is really simple here the first thing we need to do is that go to your directory where you want to run this one or you want to install cucumber.js and simply create a new folder and let me write a name of the folder um, cucumber js tutorial and this is a folder now go to visual studio code here go to file here go to open folder and open the same folder in visual studio code so cucumber let me find this one so cucumber js tutorial this one select this folder this is an empty folder and before we need to initiate anything here we need to initiate the npm so simply go go here in three dots here go to terminal click on new terminal and simply type npm in it so it, it would initiate a package for you so let me run this one and it will ask you uh, the package name so package name is basically your project name and by default it's speaking uh, cucumber.js tutorial then it asks for the version so i'm not going into these steps here 
it's asking for the git repository some keywords author of uh, this particular project so let, let me name it as Zishan and license this one and yes so once you are done with this you will see that we have a package not just in here right and it contains all the information which we provided here okay and now still we don't have installed the cucumber js so what we need to do is that simply go back to the website here and we are using npm so let me copy this command from here and now go back to the visual studio code here and in terminal just type this command and press enter so it will install the cucumber js package in this project and this will be done shortly so once it will be done i will show you the different files here so this is done and now here you will see package log dot json uh, we don't need to worry about this one as of now just go to the node underscore modules go to uh you know bin and here you will see this cucumber files gherkin files and all the things and similarly if you go here you will see different cucumber files here so this means that cucumber js is installed here and we can start learning the cucumber.js so simply what i'll do is that on the project level i'll create a one folder and this folder is basically about the features so let me name it as features and inside this one let me create one sample file new and i'm naming it as login dot feature and if i start typing something here we will not be able to understand if we are writing our feature file correctly or not so let me show you a one very basic feature file here and we will learn these things practically so this is a feature file it can contains a word feature scenario given when and and then so let me copy this one from here and go back here and paste it here but if i am typing it in a wrong way if there is any problem i am not getting some information here because there is no color code available here for this particular gherkin language because this is a gherkin and for this i recommend you that go to your extensions here on the left side this box click on this one and search for cucumber extension so cucumber and this one with the given when and then and let me show you a bit more about this extension here so vs code cucumber gherkin language support plus format plus steps plus page object autocomplete so it will autocomplete the things it will help you identify using the different syntax highlight the syntax basic snippet support auto parsing auto completion of the steps so there are so many things we can achieve using this particular extension so just click on install link this one and it will install shortly and yes it's done and if i go back here and here you will see that the colors has been changed and now we see the proper feature file here and let me remove this one for you and let me show you let me start typing a feature now it's helping me to write a gherkin so insert feature cucumber gherkin full support and, and it's also giving me a complete snippet or the layout so let me click on this one so let me name of the feature login feature login functionality and then we have description of this feature so through this feature user will be able to login into the portal and similarly now we have a scenario we will discuss about these things what is scenario what is scenario outline if i simply go with the scenario the name of scenario and here i can see that test validate login with valid credentials and similarly if i type any keyword it will give me the help and support 
and I can easily create this one simply given when similarly given when then and it will help us to write a very good feature file and we would not be doing any mistakes while writing the feature file so if I go here and if you need to format this one just right click on this one and here format document just click on this one so it will automatically format your feature file as well so this is all about installation and configuring the the cucumber js and visual studio code and in our upcoming tutorial we will be learning these different keywords gherkin and all the things in detail with the examples thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial